Hey yo everyone, it is summertime, which means it's time to be on the beach with the boys spraying each other with water guns with suspicious liquids in them. Okay, maybe not the suspicious liquid part, but we got a mod here that adds in a bunch of water guns. What's the name of the mod? Well, obviously the name of the mod is more water guns. But as you can see, a good bit of water guns it adds in. Not only that, it does have some accessories and it does have some ammo types. Let's get to it. I'm gonna go ahead, grab me this endless bottled water water boom throw it in the ammo slot and let's go ahead let's start going through a bunch of these all right so we got this one wooden sprinkler additional acorns fall on an enemy but only when trees are near let's see it it's just a nice little pea shooter let's go ahead let's bring in some enemies here i don't expect too much damage to be done to these enemies because i mean it's a water gun the weakest water gun at that i don't know how this uh these acorns apply to it like how, how does the acorn thing work oh okay so there's a little bit of tree racism going on as in this wooden sprinkler only messes with a certain type of race of tree you hate to see it all right on to the next one we got the sea splasher spawns additional bubbles let's see it in action not even seeing any bubbles maybe i got a hidden enemy first let's see there we go there's some bubbles what do the bubbles do though that's the real question do they like do they hit the enemy it looks like they hit the enemy they do go a little high, so like maybe if I was going against like an NBA player size zombie, it would be a lot more useful. But against these normal five foot nine zombies, not much I can do. I do like the sprites. Let me go ahead and let me plop this down. Look at that. Sprites are nice. Got no complaints about them. Next up, we got the golden water splitter. Ooh, they aren't lying. It's golden and that thing is split in water. Let's go ahead. Let's see it against some zombies here. Nice damage. It's a golden tier weapon. I expect some decent damage against zombies. Next up, we got the ice glacier. Now that sounds like a type of water, like a type of bottled water that would taste delicious on a sunny day. Consolidates an ice shard every fourth shot. Right click to release them. Okay. Okay. So can I just storm up? Yeah, I can storm up. How many can we have? Three. And then right click cool that's honestly very unique for a weapon like some weapons from mods aren't even this unique so to see a water gun have something this unique pretty dope let's see it in action the the beams the ice shards they apply frost debuff whatever it's called the frost burn cool very nice next up we got the crimson rainer rains from the sky that's what I expect from the Crimson Rainer. I would say my only gripe so far is there is obviously a lack of sound uh, when the weapons are shooting. And then my other gripe slash pet peeve I have is that I kind of wish the, the water... Well, actually, let me see here. Say if I take out like a different thing, is the water a different color? Nah, it's not. Okay, so that, that is my, my pet peeve I have. Let me see. Let me try a couple other things. Okay, this one's changed. But like even with this item that we're using here or this weapon that we're using, like I expected red water, even if we are just using regular bottled water. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But yeah, this one seems like a good crowd control one. It just can easily hit a big group of enemies. Nice. Next up, demonic flow. That sounds like it's about to spit some bars or something. Spawns an additional stream of water upon impact. Okay, so this one we need to probably hit an enemy to see it actually works cool this reminds me of something i don't know what it reminds me of. it reminds me of a sword we're about to see right here is this the weapon i'm thinking of is it the influx waiver yes it is okay you, you see i like the influx waiver they spawn the projectiles boom shoots at the enemy that is what demonic flow is reminding me of let's go ahead let's just see a couple more shots of it very nice we got the aquatic spacer water bounces off the walls and pierces enemies nice we got projectile ricocheting water let's see it in action here can i shoot over them and hit them oh i did oh okay i'm getting a couple shots now i was missing the first couple but after that it was easy kills we got the water shotgun come on it's just a water shotgun again no sounds it's bothering me it's bothering me a little bit we got the bee liquefier spawns bees and slows down enemies i expect the stream of this to be piss yellow it's not sadly all good bring out some enemies let's hit them with the bees can never go wrong with some bee weapons all right we're entering some lay hard mode and hard mode items here let's go ahead let's see some zombies against chain water gun literally a gun on a chain that is not what i expected this is like a gungeon type of weapon right here 
Nah, Gungeon has those goofy ass weapons. This this is something I expect to see in that game. We got the lava evaporator sets your enemies ablaze. Okay, there we go. We got some different streams, different water shooting out for once. You like to see it? It it's just you know a very strong water weapon. Uh, I need someone tanky so I can actually set them ablaze. There we go. They're on fire, sets them ablaze, does exactly what it says. Next up, water balloon bomber. Shoots balloons filled with water. Okay, I like it. It looks kind of odd, but it, it still looks cool at the same time. Let's go ahead. Let's see it in action here. Ooh, we got a nice little AOE crowd clearing type of weapon. Next up, we got the water whisperer. Hitting enemies increases the weapon power. Right click to release it. I like how unique some of these are. Let's bring in some goblin warriors here. We got some power saving up. Ooh, is that like spectral projectiles I'm shooting out? That's pretty strong if that's the case. All right, we got the Titanium Riviera. Shoots two projectiles in opposite directions. Cool. Reminds me of like a Binding of Isaac item. So this one, let me see if I can get enemies on both sides here and take them out. Ooh, <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. You get surrounded, you whip this out. You can kill everything on both sides. Next up, we got the hollowed fisher shoots copies of itself. What? Yo, <laughs> this mod is getting my props, man. This mod has some unique weapons. Let me bring in a, a stronger enemy here, armored Viking. But this weapon is getting my props. I'm liking all of the water guns so far. They're just so unique. A bunch of these are so unique. The sprites are cool. I mean, look at that. Come on now. This is a dope mod so far. I'm liking it. Cursed flow. Hold up. This is just like demonic flow. Inflicts the cursed flames debuff. Let's see it in action. Cursed flames. Let me hit these boys. Okay. I need a stronger enemy. You. There you go. She got cursed flame on her. I do also like how it shoots from different areas, just like the demonic flow was doing. Uh, very cool. Next up, we kind of got two a combo pack here. Icor sticker blaster and Icor Rainer. So I'm assuming the Rainer yep, is gonna drop from the sky. Let's go ahead, let's bring in a bunch of lost girls and make it rain on them. And then let's see this one, the Icor Sticker Blaster. Both of these look nasty, and that's exactly what our, what Crimson and you know Corruption things are supposed to be, is nasty. All right, we got the mini water gun. Rapid but inaccurate right click to turn into a turret? What? <laughs> we could turn this thing into a turret. All right, let's let's see this in action first though. Let's just see the regular attack. Inaccurate. Shoot, that don't matter to me. I'm a spray and pray type of guy anyways. Especially when it comes to me and the toilet. And then let's go ahead, let's drop the turret down. Oh my god. So we could just drop it like in the air. This is dope. So it loses a little bit of its speed, but like the fact that we get like a turret it's just is a cool idea man it's so unique i like it a lot good job mod developer it actually stays there when you use other weapons so that's that's honestly really cool like you legit get like a century all right next up we got ocean overlord puts enemies in a bubble world interesting uh the shots themselves are very interesting too so let me go ahead and see what a bubble world is i don't know <laughs> bubble world that sounds like a pokemon attack okay i'm seeing the bubble world start to shoot out everywhere you saw that massive like group of bubbles shoot out cool we got the rainbow waterfall spawns water streams downwards okay let's see it in action i'm sorry lost girl is the one we're bullying right now okay let's bring in let's bring in somebody else we're bringing in a new enemy i'm not seeing the uh water streams downwards what, like what does that mean i'm not seeing the attack that this is supposed to do am i supposed to like right click or something right clicking did not do much oh okay i see him i see him I see him. Oh, there we go. There they are. I was about to say, I'm like, what was going on here? So there, there's the attacks. Kind of got to shoot at like an arc to really see them. I was expecting them to be rainbow colored. So that's really why I wasn't seeing them at first. We got the ancient geyser. Know exactly where your enemies are. No idea what that means. <laughs> but let's go ahead. Let's use it. See what it means. Maybe it's like homing. Whoa, 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 whoa. So it's like shooting out of the floor like a geyser and it's kind of like homing geysers that's kind of good that's kinda actually really good all right next up we got the fluid sound wave shoots a powerful sound wave fused with water whoa this is cool all right i'm gonna go ahead and start bringing in some bosses for these last weapons here let's see it in action we are legit shooting sound waves at the king slime but water that's low-key embarrassing to die by water i mean i guess drowning exists right but me personally i would not get hit by a water gun and die well i don't know 
I've seen some strong water guns. Especially with this mod, I've seen some strong water guns. We got the Chlorophyte Water Sprayer chases after your foes. This is the homing weapon I expected here. I knew it was coming up. Let's bring in some scarecrows. Go ahead and home in. Oh, yes, sir. See, I said I, I'm, I'm a spray and pray guy, but I like when the spray and pray can home in. If only I had that ability with the toilet. Next up, we got Rocket Water Launcher. Shoots rockets that explode into water projectiles. So it shoots like a regular stream and then it shoots out the rockets too. Look at how this weapon looks. <laughs> this thing looks cool. I like the creativity on the sprites. All right, let's go ahead. Let's see this against some enemies here. Splinter rings are pretty strong enemies. So the fact that they're doing decent damage against these guys, you know, it shows the weapons aren't playing around. And last but not least, we got the mysterious hydro pump. Powers, unlimited power. Oh my God, look at that. It's just legit like all the other water weapons combined into one. It's just causing havoc. Let's see it against, shoot, Golem. What's up, Golem? Oh my God, it's really loud. But it's also really strong. I did not expect him to die that fast. Hey, look at that. He dropped the Ancient Geyser. <laughs> let's go ahead. Let's bring in, uh, shoot, Empress of Light. Why not? Empress of Light, how you doing? I know I'm not wearing any armor or anything. You know what? Let's pop on some armor. I got the Vortex armor on. This is a ranged armor set. I'm also not using any accessories. And this is still decent damage for daytime members of light. Boom, she's dead. Wow, Terra Prisma. 100% legit Terra Prisma run. All right, let's get into the accessories here. So as you can see, we got this water gun accelerator. 10% increase to water gun projectile speed. Let's go ahead. Let me let me just place this here. Uh, What can we test it out on? I need... Okay, see this, you can see, fairly slow. We put this on faster now you're not gonna see it too much it is 10 percent. next up we got water gun scope 40 percent increase to water guns accuracy so that can honestly help out with something like this which is said to be a little bit inaccurate because of the speed right and then you combine those together you get the projectile speed you get the accuracy all together in one next up we got this water stone increase to range damage shoot increase to just general range damage you can use that in a range play through too water shield does a bit more damage well, i don't even know what oh this is water shield adds for defense releases water streams and when hit all right so I, let me get hit here uh, I gotta hop out of god mode. Something hit me, but nothing uh, too strong. Maybe like just some zombies. Go ahead. Oh, big explosion. A lot of damage. Good. And then as you can see, my favorite thing is when accessories combine. You combine these two together, you get this. You combine these two together, you get this. So you can literally combine all of them in one and make your guns do a lot more damage, which is very nice. And speaking about the things that make you do a lot more damage, we got a bunch of ammo types. We got things like Curse Fire, of course, Frost Burn. We got Chlorophyte Water, which homes in on enemies. We got Bath Water, deals mental damage. Great, amazing. We love to see the mental damage being done to enemies. You know, it's always about physical damage in Terraria. Why not the mental damage? We got Holy Water. What does Holy Water do? No idea. We got Icor. We got Meteorite, which makes them uh, bounce around. We got Venom. We got Unholy, which does the opposite of Holy. And then we got just straight up Poison. Very simple ammo types. You, you, you get them you get the ammo types but yeah other than that that is it from the mod and i really did enjoy this mod this mod definitely surprised me with the uniqueness and quality of a bunch of the stuff in it especially the weapons in the future obviously it's a it's probably an early end mod you know it's a lot of a lot of more work to get done with it in the future i do hope to see some armors some more unique accessories maybe even a subclass with like water balloons or something throwing water balloons i don't know but this mod already is honestly in a great spot i like how unique this stuff is i do also like that it is just range damage that means you could literally just play around with just regular ranged armor set you know sometimes i do like when mods have their own damage but for a mod like this where you know there's only so many weapons it's nice to have it just be a vanilla class that it bases the damage on but yeah make sure to check out the mod shout out the mod developer for making it and i'll see y'all next time